Yo, what's up everybody? The Try Guys take a mental health vacation. This is what this video is about. I know they took a break after, I want to say New Year's or right before New Year's or something like that. They just started doing videos again, I think today, um, Wednesday. But uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new, 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 new. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button. Hit the comment sections too, you know what I'm saying? But uh, let's watch this video and see what they got to say. The definition of burnout, would it be overworked, not enough free time, and hating what you used to love yeah not enjoying what you used to love we're taking a vacation and you're watching a video about it so we didn't take that much time off my thing is uh i haven't been doing youtube that long or that seriously or on even on that scale like the try guys you know what i'm saying but i don't i don't feel no even scent or speck of being burnt out you know what i'm saying like i just want to keep i just want to keep doing it i like doing the videos i like uh seeing what y'all got to say about the videos and the comments i like to see y'all uh request videos videos i ain't seen you know what i'm saying just enjoying that experience together it's, it's pretty cool um on their scale like i could see i could understand them being burnt out because they they are like they do it at a very high level, you know what I'm saying? This YouTube, they do it at a very high level. Right now, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the minor leagues, you know what I'm saying? I'm, so, whatever, yeah. About nine months ago, we decided to leave our jobs and start a new channel. Before I get into this video, I'm sorry for another pause. Um, I had a feeling, I knew, I'm like, they're gonna take a break, but when they come back on Wednesday or the date they said they was coming back, they're gonna have footage and material ready because that's just what you do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you take the day off, but you are also preparing for when you go back. You know what I mean? So I hope they did get to spend some time to unwind and, you know what I'm saying, clear their head or whatever. We have been working nonstop. I renovated a house, had a baby. I basically compressed the entirety of the stress of my 30s into three months. I lost maybe 20 years of my life during 2018. <laughs> I fucking hate all of you. <laughs> we put a lot on ourselves. So we're talking with Katie Morton. She's a therapist. She's gonna tell us all about how we can actually take a load off. How long do you think a YouTuber, perhaps, needs to take a break to have the effect of a break? I think two weeks. My job is my hobby, and the most fulfillment I get in life is from my job. Everything that I love to do is right here. But you can't just do one thing always. You can't. Our vacations? Necessary? Yes, because we all need breaks. I like working, so this will be fine. What's the deal with burnout? Burnout, the term, was coined in the 1970s. It was nurses in New York. They were tired all the time. They started like lashing out at their patients and their coworkers. And this psychologist, um, his name is Freudenberger. That's if we created a, a therapist alter ego for Keith. Yeah, <laughs> but accidentally was sexy all the time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what Freudenberger saw is that the effort they were putting in was really, really high and the reward wasn't. So it should be at least balanced. They were working too many hours, didn't have enough free time, and were slowly essentially hating what they do. Whoa. So how does it relate to YouTube? The internet never sleeps, so we don't often get breaks. I feel like the first thing we're gonna text each other is like, what are y'all vlogging for this video about vacationing? There's a lot of viewers who probably see this video and other types of videos from YouTubers, and they probably roll their eyes and say, oh, I mean like, mm -hmm. it's not a real job. How is a YouTuber's experience with burnout relating to people out there who might even think that ours is less crazy than their lives. The same things we're talking about apply to everyone. And yeah, other jobs can seem more stressful, but no one should downplay their experience. Everybody goes through rough periods. I think it's important that we validate each other and ourselves and know it's okay to be like, yeah, this is hard. There isn't like, oh, you have to have this amazing, crazy job. You have to be a surgeon. You just have to be putting in a lot of effort and not getting enough reward. Uh, occasionally, one of us will go on a small vacation, which kind of translates to the other three having more work. We went to Palm Springs for my birthday, and I spent the first night editing a video. I can't turn off. Scientifically, what's happening to your brain when you're getting burnt out? So when we're burnt out, we're struggling to concentrate. Things are just getting really difficult. We can become really irritable. It's because if we don't get good sleep, we don't get REM sleep. One thing I do a lot, maybe worse than the other track REM sleep? is I have a lot of lack of sleep. That's a weird way to word it. Probably because I'm sleepy. 
When we sleep, our brain fills with 60% more fluid. The cleaning crew comes in, pulls out all the dead dendrites and little uh, synapses that maybe we're not using anymore, right? It's like we slough off dead skin every day. Our brain needs to do something similar. So if we're not sleeping, it's like driving on a road that you've never repaved. You just keep driving on it, you know, it's like, a little bumpy and the signal gets misfired and that's why we can't concentrate. Our brain doesn't get a chance to build new and get rid of old. What role does social media play in people not being able to turn off? I think it's because we're there's always something to engage with. It's overwhelming. I don't do anything without my phone. I don't know how we ever pooped without phones. It's so boring. I should clean my screen. What, am I not allowed to like check Instagram? Like what's what's the rules here? There aren't really rules. Because I do think there is a positive to it, like connectivity, um, engagement with people around the world. Like it's a powerful tool, but we have to make sure we're using it for those purposes and not only for validation. I think this is super important. Burnout is real and we are going to fight that today by giving ourselves a mental break. All of us are going different places. I think Zach is going to Mexico. I think Ned is going to Texas, I'm going to Tennessee, and Eugene is staying here. As my past attempts at vacationing have shown, I treat them too much like work, so I'm gonna stay here in California. I think you need to think of yourself as a civilian. Instead of a master of the night? Master of the night. Okay. One, two, two, three. Let's, Let's go, go de-stress! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, man! Come on! Man. Let's go! Oh, I'm going to take a walk! Woo! Yeah. 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 I'm going to take a walk. He said, I'm going to take a walk. In a strange walk. turn of events, I'm actually spending the first day of my vacation going back to the office, but it's not to work. It's to get presents. So how do you avoid the feeling of always being like behind? Like, I feel like I leave work, I've always gotten like seven out of 10 things done on my to-do list and then the things I haven't done, I'm like, oh no, I'm so behind. List should never be more than seven items long. I don't know why. So, so I'm fucking crushing it. I'm seven out of seven every day. I just need to scale back my expectations. Yes. Uh, it was kind of tricky to not do work. Day one, literally I was checking my phone. He looks exhausted. Yo, Ned, bro, wait. He looks so exhausted. That's crazy. He looks the most exhausted out of all of them. Like he looks, like he's doing YouTube. Plus he got a, a newborn. Like, look at he looks terrible. He just, he just looks sad. Every other minute, this is, this is not very relaxing. Hello from Mexico. It's a beautiful day and Zach's on his computer. No, I, ha I have to add captions to one of our videos and then, then I'm done with work. I tell people that I like stress. Am I totally delusional or is that a thing? No, I mean, it's motivating. I get more stressed out when my, when my email inbox is zero. I mean, not to therapize you too much. Do it. <laughs> but it might be that you need to be needed in some way. <laughs> That is so true. I would get the feeling that if I told you to leave your phone at home for like a full day, you'd like have a meltdown. So starting with like 15, 30 minutes, like leave it, go for a walk or something. Fine. <laughs> the best thing you could do now is to figure out what each of you enjoys and that actually does help you de-stress. I'm really excited for family time. Dad, what you got? Dad. I got muffins. <laughs> I'm excited for days where there's no agenda. I can just float and explore. Uh, we heard that there is an incredible Al Pastor on the other side of the highway. Maggie and I got massages, which were awesome. Did you like it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're walking on cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this road is, look at that. How'd you guys find this place? Google. <laughs> How many tacos did we eat? 23? 23 tacos for about 300 pesos. Uh, there's a dude who's selling fireworks on the side of the street, and we're gonna buy some to set off tonight. It's like some people in social media, especially like the people who do it for like income or whatever, they tend to get to a point where you can't do anything without vlogging it or capturing it. You know what I'm saying? And it just seems like a sad life after a while. Like you can't enjoy anything unless 
you're recording it to show people that you're enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I, I would help more, but I have to record it. Run! Run! <laughs> Zachary, I'm serious. Zachary. Be careful. I really like being around people. I, I'm realizing that, like, I am still in a phase where, like, I go out and hang out with people on the weekends. Yeah, you're more of an extrovert, so mm -hmm. that's, like, filling for you. The one thing I'm super excited about in Tennessee is Nashville hot chicken. I've actually never had hot chicken in Nashville, and I'm, like, a fried chicken god. Chicken wise, 2K18. No, 2K19 now. That's probably when you're watching it, but right now it's 2K18. Chicken wise. <laughs> Great Hattie B is not the original hot chicken place in Nashville, but a good one. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, look at that. It's hot for me. It dances marvelously with ranch. Chicken. Like so, what about you, Eugene? I've never had chicken that danced with ranch. That's tough. I like animals. <laughs> For my mental health break, I decided to go where all the animals are, the San Diego Zoo. So zoos and animals are some of my favorite things in the world, and I actually got... How are they taking a break and they're still recording? They're, they're still working. ...here to the San Diego Zoo right when it opened, because I have actually never seen the pandas. It's his butt. Red panda. My family is all going different places, so we're just gonna Venmo each other some Christmas money, and then we're gonna do our own damn thing. Is everyone else with their families? Yeah. Oh, because that's what Christmas is usually about. We're going on a car trip, Wes. Yeah. In mommy's brand new car. Okay, so in just a few seconds, I'm going to surprise Ariel with her dream car. I went out to the dealership, I got it. She thinks we're doing something completely different. She doesn't know what's coming, and I'm going to surprise her. What? <laughs> it's here! It's here! Well, I mean, I love talking to people, but I think I'm at my most happy and, and peaceful when I'm with Ariel or with Wes, really. Me and Wes are just over here looking at this super fan. <laughs> We're having our annual holiday pie making contest. Uh, because I got third place in the Try Guys Baked Pie Without a Recipe, I'm doing the pumpkin pie. Because anybody can make a good pumpkin pie, Keith. <laughs> The remedial pie. The remedial pie. See, told you my father-in-law would be upset. <laughs> I'm gonna bring my Nintendo Switch. Super Smash Brothers is coming out. I haven't gotten it yet because Ariel's like, I'll get it for you for a Christmas present. I was like, it comes out December 7th. <laughs> What am I gonna do between then? I'm an adult, I got my own money. <laughs> Why do I gotta wait till Christmas? That's the face of a married man right there. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the face. That that is the face of a married man right there. Look at look at that. Look at that right now. Look at Ned's face. You see Ned's face? That is the face of a married man. Just got cold chills. <laughs> Why can't I just buy with my big boy money? So I'm trying really hard this week to not vlog, to not think about making videos, to really just check the fuck out. We have this amazing apartment that overlooks the ocean. We can walk right down to the beach. It's just a little slice of paradise. Every place you eat has the most amazing food you've ever had. That did look crazy. Oh shoot, I haven't got ad block yet. I'm tripping. Really my apologies oh my god i'm doing my best to just not think about anything that i normally think about every day is just putting out fires right like we never get anything done it's just reacting to the things yeah. that pop up it's just fyi our brains can only focus for 30 to 45 minutes at a time and then we need a break so just mm -hmm. we're such like a white knuckle society we're like i'll just get through this uh, and we don't realize that hey i've been like maxed out for i don't know six months possibly but i've just been like going for it um, and so just check in, see how you feel. I love the zoo. Polar bear. Chuck Owen. Gary. Oh, African lion. Hey, 
Asian elephant. Asia. Camel. Slender tail meerkat. Simone. Serval. I'm a dry as Koala. I'm getting a strap. So I need to upgrade this guy <laughs> 10 times better because apparently you can drink at the San Diego Zoo. I love the zoo. Christmas, Christmas time with Aunt Becky. On Christmas Eve, my brother and I planned an entire spooky Christmas adventure. Our niece and nephew had to save the four Christmas princes from the evil Queen Liz, the trickster Becky, the Christmas wizard, and then they had to meet the brown recluse in the basement who would play a Christmas song that would save Christmas when they took the red bird and put it back onto the tree. And then when they asked about it the next day, we denied it ever happening. It was super cool. Remember to see great Hitler. Wow. Oh, is it Rams tickets? No. It's little shoes and scarf bibs. Oh, sneaky box. <laughs> Oh, also, crazy plot twist. My best friend's brother, who is also my brother's best friend, it makes sense, uh, is a blacksmith. So one of the things I'm going to do is make a knife. So this sword was quenched, so heated and dipped in oil during the totality of a solar eclipse. And then the blade is Damascus with wrought iron. Whoa. Yeah, it feels very practical. Hey, I'm Jay. Uh, we're in Sparta, Tennessee, uh, and I'm a bladesmith, and we're going to make some knives today. Step one, we'll forge our blade. We want to forge the point first. We're going to hammer at an angle, like this. Uh, you do this, you help a lot of people come through and do their own little forging? No. <laughs> Push hard, you don't want to try to pull it out of your hand. Don't fight it, it will win. Okay. Okay. You have that nervous look. Yeah, well, I'm pretty nervous. I'm sharpening a knife on the on, on sand. Then we'll harden the blade by quenching it in oil. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. And then we'll go to finish grinding and sharpening. And that's not sharp unless it shaves. Wow, thanks for taking away some of your arm hair for us. There you go. That's that's your first knife. Wow, oh, so warm. Oh, thanks man. You got any, any word of advice to people who want to be blacksmiths like you? Uh, yeah, just uh, have a lot of skill, <laughs> uh, a lot of money. No, it's really, uh, it's really hard. <laughs> the vacation wasn't done yet because I had one more thing to do. That was dope. A German heavy metal concert. I spent New Year's seeing the band Ramstein. Rammstein? I don't know. They're German. I was like in a war zone of fireworks. New Year's Eve was supposed to be like this big blowout bash. Did not do that. But the one amazing thing that did happen on New Year's Eve, Maggie was like, hey, your phone's buzzing a lot in the other room. You, what, you want me to read? The final day of 2018, we hit 5 million subscribers. 5 million Apparently, we wanted to hit 3 million in a year, and we hit 5 million in just over six months. 5 mil on YouTube in six months has been done before. Six months in like 12 days or something like that. I'm gonna call it six months. Ah, oh, what a trip, what a vacation. We got to have a lot of quality time with Wes. I got to spend some time with Ariel. We went to the Lady Gaga concert in Vegas. I don't know if you'll get much from my footage because it's just me screaming, Yes, Gaga! Yes, Gaga! <laughs> like over and over again. Oh my god, there she is! The zoo was really fun. There's a dog. Oh, and there's the cheetah. Um, and the rest of the vacation, I mainly sort of sat on my ass 
I got super active on Twitter, called out some bullshit on Twitter, which I loved. We have a policy not to clap back, but I want to make sure people know that you cannot fuck with us, and I will fucking come for you. Who's we? You come for us, because I'm fucking scary. I don't work for BuzzFeed anymore. I don't have to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest challenge was, you know, 100% disconnecting. I also like what I do for a living, so I don't want to be 100% unplugged. I just don't want to be 100% dialed in. I'm not going to say I didn't check Instagram. I did that, but I only posted once, and that's a big deal for me. But most of all, I think I can just take some of those mindsets and put them into my normal life. Notice what you like to do, what makes you happy, and fit that in every day. <laughs> I'm ready, baby. I'm back, I'm ready, I'm excited. You thought 2018 was great for the Try Guys? Watch out, 2019. It's going to be an even bigger dumpster fire of fabulosity. On my vacation. On my vacation. On my vacation. Best dad in the galaxy. Turn him right now. On my vacation, bitch. That's amazing. On my vacation, bitch. Don't need this anymore. On my vacation, bitch. Best dad in the galaxy. I don't even know what that was at the end, but yeah, man, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't feel like I feel, I can feel what Keith was saying though. Like if you like what you do, then you definitely don't want to be a hundred percent dialed out, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? When you're taking a break, you want to be a little bit dialed in. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. All right.